Hello humans, happy Tuesday. It is I, me. As you can tell by this beautiful, outstanding video quality, I recently got a new camera. It's pretty sick. I'll have to make a review of it soon. Sorry I haven't really posted in a while. I don't really have a good reason not to have. Um, and I definitely want to do more. So they'll be kind of starting that up soon. But this is a video of my excuses not to have been posting. It's a deep dive into the mind of Zach. And my reasons for not doing anything or something. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, so the first reason, I'm never going to guess this, this is insane. I'm lazy. Yeah, that's reason number one. It's not an excuse. It's admitting a problem. And that's the first step or something. But I think it goes deeper than just being lazy because this is something that I enjoy doing want to do more of it, and I actually do consider it more valuable use of time than a lot of the things that I have been doing, like this video games or binge watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. Interruption! All this applies to other things I enjoy doing, like art, music, 3D art, and writing, and other things like that. So that's all this applies to all that, not just video making. But other things as well. My left arm's not very expressive because it's holding my, my scripts so I can tell what I'm saying. Knuckleball. The second reason is a big one. I find that most of my good ideas for things um, seem to occur while I'm like working on a simple but repetitive task at work or when I should be sleeping, like right now, because it is late and I, I that at recording, I guess, but we're doing it. I realize that this is probably because most of the time at home, there's too many other things I find interesting that distract me from working on the things I want to work on, such as video games, YouTube, all that stuff I mentioned earlier. These hand motions are totally legit. However, when I do set aside time to work on more creative tasks, I often still find it difficult. Welcome to reason number three. I call this one blank page syndrome. If you ever start a project, you probably experience something like this. You're staring at that vast empty page with nothing on it, and you think, now what? Blank page is reflected in my mind. I stare at it, and it's in my head. Uh, I don't know why this is, but the solution I've found is to write down ideas when I have them at other times in order to use them later when I don't have them. So I've got a very long list on my phone. I should probably go through it again. Part 4. I have a short attention span. Part 4. I have short attention span, both in a long and short term sense, I'll explain that. In the short term, I'm easily distracted by other things while I'm working on something, like well, check something on my phone, or take a break and not come back, or those sorts of things, which obviously makes whatever I'm working on take a whole lot longer than it actually would have otherwise. In the long term, it's easy for me to lose interest in whatever I'm working on and move on to something else and never actually finish it, or I'll get distracted by something and then before I know it, days have gone by and I haven't ever actually come back to working on it and then it just kind of floats off into the void of forgotten projects. This leads nicely into the fifth reason, which ties in and kind of amplifies the previous one a lot. I'm somewhat, I wouldn't say a perfectionist, but more obsessively detailed. What I mean by that, if I know how something works, I want to make sure that my version of it that I'm drawing or modeling or whatever is accurate and realistic, which takes a lot of time. Also, I spend way too much time on like tiny little details and something that don't really actually matter, like all the individual rocks in a pile of rocks or all the trees in the background like up there that you can't actually see from where you are but they're there i could show you i might i should do a review of all my digital art that'd be fun 
Um, where was I? This definitely helps me in the technical and engineering side of things where I work and study. But I do feel like it hurts me artistically. I think it does benefit my art style, and I enjoy it, but it's quite costly when it comes to time, and that kind of compounds with my short attention span, and then I don't finish the thing. Unfinished project is great. So, what I've kind of been thinking over the past few days is that it's better to do something mediocre than nothing perfectly. And I should just try to have fun. So that's why you're getting this video. Yeah. Thanks for watching this list of excuses for why I haven't really been doing much creatively recently. I hope you enjoyed it, maybe you found something insightful or useful in it, and hopefully I'll be doing more soon. Um, I want to put out some more videos with not necessarily regularity, but more often than once every six months or something crazy like that. Um, and I also want to do a bit more on my Instagram, maybe some like art stuff or photos and stuff there. And I'll do videos here. Uh, Instagram, that's Zach underscore Crow, just like the YouTube channel. And yeah, I think that's it. So for now, farewell and goodbye. And good night, because it's late.